Karen Hill from Karen Hill Photography, Fine Art Wedding Photography. I'm here to talk to you today about creating a timeline with your clients and having a successful wedding day shoot. So the first thing I, I do when I am contracted for a wedding and we're getting ready to work on the timeline together, I send out a questionnaire. I send it out about a month before the wedding and the client fills in all the questions and I get an idea of locations, addresses, size of the wedding, size of the bridal party, and their desires for the day. That meaning, um, the last question on the questionnaire is, how do you envision the photographs for your day, dot, dot, dot. And I find that to be one of the best questions because what they usually return to me is their thoughts, you know, that they want uh, vintage -y, cool, madman look. So I have sort of a cue from them of their visual experience, what they want. Um, I also work with the wedding planner to make sure that we're working together and they have a good idea of what I need and I have a good idea of what they need. So it's um, a perfect working relationship on the day of. Um, so the first thing that we do is we set ourselves up with the bride when she's getting ready. And I work with my husband, uh, Frank. So he starts with the men. And what I do is go in and I take about 30 minutes to set up still lifes with the dress, the shoes, the veil if they have one, the hair pieces, the jewelry. And I pick a nice corner with some nice light and I start setting up still lifes. And then I pop over and do some shots of the bride getting ready with the hair and makeup. And then I pop back over to finish with the dress and the invitation and the shoes. And when I have that all recorded, then I'm ready. The bride usually is ready to get dressed. So I, I get shots of her getting in the dress, you know, toasts with the bridesmaids, hugs with mom, all the usual shots that are actually really important because they all tell the wedding day story. And then we're off. So usually we set up for either a first look or we're headed straight to the ceremony. If we're headed for the first look, then we have to coordinate with the second shooter with Frank. And Frank's going to bring the men and the groom in particular to the bride and they're going to see each other for the first time and that's a, a wonderful shot and I always love the expressions because they get so excited to see each other. So once that's done we do portraits of the bride and groom and I like to have 20 to 30 minutes alone with them and that's kind of the most important part of the day for me. So the first thing that I'm looking for is light and we follow light wherever we are we're looking for light. If there's a little bit of light over there we go over there and we start shooting. What I love is backlight, and I love putting the bride and groom right in front of the light, and I start shooting. And of course, people get nervous because they're not used to being photographed, so first thing I tell them is, I'm not here. You guys are alone. It's your wedding day. And that makes them hopefully a little more comfortable, first of all. And I think that's really important because what I'm looking for is really authentic moments. I don't like to interfere, and I don't like to set up a lot. I like to see what's there and shoot it. So the next part of the day is a family group shot and bridal party. So what I like to do is set aside 30 minutes for that, and that's for 10 to maybe 12 portraits. We try to keep it short and sweet, and that's really important because we don't want to spend the whole day doing portraits. So the group shots are the immediate family on either side, and then shots with the parents on either side, and then the full bridal party, and then all the guys, and then all the girls. And then we do a shot with everyone together. And I feel like that's the most important shot of the day. So that's the bridal party and the family's on both sides with the couple. So that's, um, once I have that shot, I feel like I'm done. I feel like that's the shot. So from there, we um, usually go to the ceremony or off to the reception. So if we're going to the ceremony, um, since I work with Frank, he does the second shooting. He's usually up in the choir loft or at some different vantage point from me which is fantastic because he gets the best shots. And I'm secretly always a little jealous that he gets to do those shots because those are, that's the dream shot with the bride coming down the aisle from above. I, I love that. Um, so then I'm usually in front photographing everyone coming down the aisle. And then we quietly walk around and we're photographing the ceremony. You know, there's a lot of iPhones at the church these days and that's an interesting problem or you know, addition to the day is working with all the iPhones lining the aisles now, which is really fun. <laughs> um, so the other thing, after the ceremony, my favorite shot is actually the bride and groom coming out of the church. If there's a church or a synagogue or a home, wherever we are where they're passing through a doorway with backlight, because I love backlight. 
Um, so I'm inside focusing on the, the couple and Frank is outside waiting for them to come out. And that's, that's the moment too that I feel like kind of the, the moment that they're married and they're happy and everyone's there. So the group shot list is usually about 10 or 12 portraits in 30 minutes. And every once in a while I get a list from the bride wanting about, well, it could be about 50 group shots. And I have to gently let her know that that's not the focus of the day for us, that we really want to concentrate on the candid moments and that the group shots are 30 minutes where everyone is kind of tied to this moment and we don't want to extend it longer. So I let her know that what we do is focus on the main group shots and then we get everything else candidly. And uh, very often we do a lot of group shots during the reception and these are like the college group shots. So those can be a lot of fun. I think good communication with the couple is really important. And again, with the families and with the wedding planner, making sure that we're all on the same page about the timing of the day and the expectations of the client and the amount of pictures they want. Um, so when we get a list of, let's say, 50 portraits and I have to let them know gently yet firmly that it would take about two hours to do 50 portraits and that that's not how we want to manage the day. And we want to manage the day you know, quickly. I always say short and sweet. Short and sweet is exactly what we want to achieve. At the reception is another opportunity to photograph everyone when they're more relaxed and our goal is to photograph all the guests. So once we arrive for the reception, it's usually cocktail hour and Frank goes in and photographs everyone enjoying the cocktail hour and I usually go in and photograph the room and that's one of my favorite parts of the day because um, I get to photograph all the details and the beauty that's been created by a team of people and it's beautiful. Um, so I have uh, my camera on a tripod usually and you know some reflectors going and you know I photograph the tables, the details, the silverware, the flowers, uh, everything. The beginning of the reception is a lot of fun because usually the couple is announced into the room and usually they'll have you know everyone stand up and cheer and that's a lot of fun. Um, and after that it's a lot of dancing, toasts, eating, dancing, fun. Timeline is an important tool for the day. It gets everyone on the same page, but it isn't set in stone. Every wedding has a flow, and it's our job, my job, to tap into the flow. And I find every wedding has a life of its own, and that's really the joy of shooting a wedding.